afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Campbell County Cold Spring Lifer. My name is Mason Duran. And, oh, we've got a wonderful show all lined up for you. We really do. And I can babble on, which I'm quite capable of doing, on and on and on. And now I would like to introduce you to Mr. Paul Anthony. Wow, okay, hey, I'll take the applause, yes. Thank you, Mason. It's always a pleasure. We're here at the Campbell County Library, and welcome to Entertainers in a Tri-State. Actually, it's Cold Spring Library in Campbell County. The uh, Campbell County Library, Cold Spring Library, is the home of the library for Northern Kentucky here, and it serves most of the residents south of Highland Heights. It was built in 1984 and went renovated in 2007 and serves most of the residents, as I mentioned, south of Highland Heights. It, uh, it's the home of over 90,000 books, videos, and more. And it serves, do you know that each year over 200,000 of those residents will come and visit the library and utilize its meeting space, the books, the videos, the, uh, the computers, and they come to programs much like you're about to see. We do have a wonderful show lined up for you today. We have some mystifying magic, some foot stomping music, and a few guest, special guest surprises at the end of the show. So with that, let's find out who our first act is going to be. Mason? For you, sir. Okay. Oh, my goodness. How many of you like magic? Raise your... Oh, because we have a wonderful magician. He has traveled throughout the Midwest and performed throughout, and he's always leaving his audience mystified, baffled, and confused. So put your hands together and welcome the magic of Jason the Great. Jason. How is everybody doing? Doing good? Yeah. Thank you very much for having me. I'm going to just pull this stuff over here. This is all my secret stuff, my secret case here. We'll start off with a, a little something. Anybody here ever been to the circus before? Oh, a few of you? Okay, it usually comes in March. Um, I don't do the circus anymore. I used to be a sword swallower in the circus, and this was probably about 55, 56 years ago. <laughs> I no longer do that. But what I do, uh, do now is these little animal balloons. Anybody ever seen these little animal balloons? Yes, you have? And uh, you blow it up like this. Okay. That's why you always bring two of them with you. <laughs> Must have had a hole in it. Okay. It's like this. Here we go. Okay. Now, like I said, I've been doing this for 55, 56 years. Uh, do not try this at home. Very dangerous stuff. I promise it won't work the same way. <laughs> now, it really helps, too, if you start clapping as it goes down my abdominal system, okay? Go ahead. Questions on that? <laughs> no? <laughs> I gotta make sure I'm home in about an hour. <laughs> Let me show you something. Let me show you something um, that I actually learned. I was probably around 13, 14 years old, uh, and I'm gonna show you the secret if you promise to, um, that you can keep it a secret yourself, okay? Because that's the most important thing of being a magician is keeping the secret, okay? Can everybody here keep a secret? Raise your hand. Yes. Does anybody here uh, keep? No secret, raise your other hand. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Here's what you do. You put one dot on this side, four dots on that side, three dots on that side, and six dots on that side. <laughs> I'll show you again really fast. One dot on this side, four dots on that side, three dots on that side, and six dots on that side. Now, I'll show you how this works, okay? Here's what you do. You only draw uh, two dots on this side, but over here on the other side, you actually draw five dots, okay? That way, when I show... One side like this, I'm only showing one dot. When I turn it around the other way, I show four dots like this. Now I do it really fast for three and really fast for six. Now watch it at full speed. Watch. One, four, three, and six. Just takes a little practice to where to put your hands. Now is anybody here right-handed? If you're right-handed, place your hand. Very good. If you're right-handed, place your hand on that dot over there. If you're left-handed, you place your hand over there on that dot, okay? <laughs> Same way on this side. If you're right-handed, you place your hand over here on this dot. If you're left-handed, you place your hand over here on this dot, okay? 
Okay, all right. Now, here's the most important part of the whole thing. Never, ever show the side with eight dots on it because it's really confusing. And uh, it just goes over everybody's head. Now, if you have any questions, thank you. If you have any questions about this trick, um, don't come up and ask me after the show. Um, ask your mom and dad, and they'll be, they'll be more than happy to explain it to you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Would anybody like to help? Yes? What was, what was your name? Sid. Sid. Everybody give Sid a big round of applause as she comes on up. Come on up here. Let you stand right there, Sid. How are you? Good. Have you ever done magic before? No, never? Okay. I'm going to give you something secretive. Don't let anybody see this. Okay. Your hand here. There you go. And just put your hand back down there, Sid. Very good. This will be fun. Now, you do exactly what I do, okay, Sid? Well, first, uh, take this silk here. Wave it up and down so everybody can see it. That actually kills time while I'm over here doing all the secret stuff. Keep doing that, Sid. Very good. And I'm going to teach Sid... How this trick works right in front of everybody, okay? Sid, how old are you? Ten. Ten, okay. Okay, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get to you here in a second, okay? I just need uh, Sid right now. Okay, go sit back down for me. Thank you very much. Everybody give him a round of applause. Nice, okay? <laughs> Here's what happens. is you tie a little knot like this, and Sid, I'm going to uh, place this right, right on the side of your shirt here, okay? Keep waving that up and down, okay? I'm going to place it right there, okay? Now, I'm going to do the same thing over here, Sid. Keep waving that up and down like that. Very good. And I'm going to tie these two purple silks together like this. Sid, do you like to do magic? Yes. Okay, good. Now, do what I do. Let me get this. Go like this. Good. Then place your magic silk into your empty hand like this. Place it right into your empty hand just like this. Alrighty. You got oh very good, Sid. Very good. Keep pushing it. Into your empty hand. You got little hands. That's okay. Very good. Now watch this. Say the magic words sunny side up. Sunny side up. Sunny side up. Go like that and show everybody your little egg oh. just like that. You see? Huh? Told you I need the egg. <laughs> now, oh, now, when something disappears, it can't just disappear and not go anywhere. Look right there, Sid. Let's see if mine worked. Very good. Everybody give Sid a big round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sid. Now, um, Sid, she's... Uh, Ten years. Oh, we'll get to you in a second, okay? Sit right back there. You need to keep that chair still for me, okay? Now, here's what happens. Uh, Sid uh, had smaller hands, so have you ever, did you see it? Did you all see it before she put it in? You can be honest with me, okay? Because I'm going to show you how, can I show them how it works? Okay, what you do is you get your little wooden decoy duck. Uh, oh, keep that chair still Where over here. Come over here. Keep that chair really still right there. Thank you very much. <laughs> here's what we're going to do. You keep it, um, get your wooden decoy duck. And what you have your mom or dad do is drill out a hole right there in the center, okay? Then whatever you push in there, you can make it disappear. But never, ever show that side, okay? But if somebody does actually see that side, all you do is a little magic gesture like that. Then you can pull the hole off of the egg like that. And then crack the egg right into the glass. Just like that. Sunny side up, everybody. Ooh. Oh. That's not the trick. The trick is that's been in my car for two hours. <laughs> Ooh, man. Okay, let's get... Uh, what's your name, buddy? Anton. Anton, would you like to help me? Mm -hmm. How old are you? Eight. Eight. Everybody give Anton a big round of applause. Stand right here, Anton. Stand right there on the trap door. Good. Right there, and hold your fingers out like this, Anton. And together like this. Now, you live around here in Cold Springs? No, where are you from? Kentucky. Oh, all the way from Kentucky. <laughs> Anton's from Ke Far Drive. Me too. Here's what we're going to do, Anton. Um, this is magic tissue paper all the way from India. 
very expensive high dollar stuff, Anton. And I'm going to let you help me do this trick, okay? Mm -hmm. Here's what it is. I'm going to show everybody out there how this trick works, but since Anton's up here all the way from Kentucky, I'm going to show you um, the magic, and then I'll explain to you the secret later, okay? Now, if you think you're going to say something, put your finger over your mouth like this, okay? Here's what we do, Anton. We get you a little teeny tiny piece of magic tissue paper. <laughs> okay. We roll it into the ball like this. Now, be very quiet when you see the magic happen. Here we go. You ready, Anton? One, two, three. Ooh, 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 ooh. Huh? Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll show you again. I'll show you with a little bit bigger of a piece this time. Pretty cool, huh? Now, if any of you have any of this stuff at home that looks like this, you can probably use it. It's about the same thing. But this is very expensive, high-dollar magic tissue paper all the way from India. Now here, we'll do it again. Are you ready, Anton? Mm -hmm. Here we go. One, two. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? You want to learn the secret? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's what happens. I put it down in slow motion. What you don't see me do is I actually, you don't see me doing this, okay? I freeze time. Stick this up here like this. So you got to hang on to it. So what happens now, Anton, is you're distracted by the plunger on my head, you see? And then what I do while you're looking up there, I just actually slide it up there, and you don't even see it. <laughs> I'll show you again, okay? This is really cool. Oh, I'm sorry. What you have for breakfast, my friend? I'm not a mind reader. What was that? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> or you can actually place it up underneath uh, your watch, too. That's a good way, but that's really not how it works. Okay, here's what we'll do. I'm going to take a little piece like this. Anton, what grade are you in? Um, third. Third. Okay, oh, leave it straight like that, okay? Rip your magic tissue paper from India right down the center just like this. Yes. Very good. Keep ripping it, Anton. Okay, good. Rip it. Rip it. Rip it. Go like this. Now go like this. Then like this. It's a Michael Jackson move. That's how he does it. Go like that. Good. You got it. That there, my friends, is called the TP Shuffle. You do this in school, in high school, one of your dances, everybody will gather around you. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Okay, that's not the trick either. Which piece do you want? Number one or number two? This one. What piece is that? Two. Good. Okay. Take. Wow. I guess we'll have to practice that, Anton. Everybody give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, can you do me one more thing? What? Can you pull that off my head for me? <laughs> Just pull it, Anton. <laughs> Just pull it, Anton. <laughs> Let me help you. Oh, there we go. Another big round of applause. Thank you very much. Anton, since you've never done magic before, I'm going to give you a magic wand. There you go, right there in your hand. Thank you very much. It's clean, I promise. <laughs> so is everybody still having a good time? 
Yeah. Okay. Let's try. Uh, let's try a card trick. Anybody like card tricks? Has anybody not ever seen a card trick before? No. Okay. This would be fun. I need uh, somebody to pick a card. Sir, you can stay seated if you don't mind. Do you mind? Do you mind picking a card or staying seated? <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> I'm going to go down through like this, sir. Nobody say the card out loud. And if you don't mind, just say stop anytime you like. Stop. Okay, right there. Now I'm going to show his card around to everybody. Okay. I see it. You mind holding on to it for me, sir? Could you pass that back there to him? Okay, that way you don't forget it, okay? All right, perfect. Now, I want you to think of your card, sir, because I'm going to try to draw a picture of your card. Okay? Let's see. You have a marker on you? Hmm. Uh, oh, here it is, way down there. It's got deep pockets. Okay, there we go. Okay. Perfect. Now, are you thinking of your card, sir? I think I have it. It's a low card. Yes, yes. Or it could be a high card. There you go, sir. Your card. The ace of spades. No? Oh, it wasn't really? No. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, that's actually, sir, just the bottom of the deck. If I draw the deck like this, like here, right there, your card's about right there. Do you believe me? Yes, thank you. Watch. Can you see it from there, sir? Think of your card. Oh my God. Are you thinking of it? It's coming. Here it comes. Is that it, sir? The two? The two of diamonds? want you to have that. There you go. All righty. Give him a big round of applause. Thank you. I need uh, one more volunteer. Let me use, uh, I need actually a lady for this. Does anybody want to volunteer? Um, oh, you will? What is your name? Beverly. Everybody give Beverly a big round of applause. <laughs> Beverly, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, have you been? Okay? Good. Good. That's good. Um, I need to borrow something from you, something kind of important. Do um, you have like a, a, a ring or anything on? I don't think I can get them off. <laughs> I got a watch. Oh, well, the ring, you can't get no. maybe that one there? No. Okay. You need a woman to get a, get a ring? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, these won't come off anymore. Hmm. So. Okay. I got an earring, but that's... Yeah, I don't know. That might be a little bit too... Big. Yeah. I okay. need to... Okay. Could we use your... Do you have a ring sure. we could borrow? Sure. Okay. You gonna give it back? <laughs> yeah. Just like it is? <laughs> no alterations? Yes. Let me see it. Okay, good. Ma'am, do you mind stepping back up here and we'll use her ring? Is that all right? Okay, she got it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, though, anyway, very much. Okay. Thank you. Oh, it comes off. Good. Does yours come off that easy, sir? Yes. <laughs> okay, here's what we'll do. Uh, would you pick out a balloon for me? Okay. And then if you would, blow up the balloon.
about like this, maybe. No, I'm sorry, that was an old fishing story. <laughs> about like this. A little bit more ado. Okay, that's, that should be good. That should be good. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and tie it off for me there. Okay. Now, this is, this is cool. Watch this, okay? There's your ring. Now, if you see it again, you recognize it, right? Yes. Hold on to the balloon like this. Now you have to listen very carefully. Listen, watch. Hold the balloon, okay? Don't let it go. Shake it. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah? Now I don't really know any way to get that out unless I pop it. Yeah. <laughs> um, you don't have a needle on you, do you? No? Okay. I do know another way, though. Huh? No, let's, let's try something. We'll try something. Can we try something yeah. with you? Okay. What was your name? Beverly. Okay. Here's what we have over here. Uh, let me show you this. I'm going to pull this off right here. We have a little target. Okay. This is really cool. Um, here's what I want you to do. Let me, uh, would you mind holding on to my jacket for a second? Because okay. I have another jacket here I have to put on just for this trick. Okay. So I'm going to just step over here just for a second. And my other jacket here. Let's try this first. Let me see if this will work first before I even do it. Hang on. You might want to step to the side. Yes. <laughs> I'm not insured for this kind of stuff. Let's see. Oh, I never hit it before. Great. <laughs> This would be fun. Okay, here, just hold on to the balloon like this. Like that, and I'll take this jacket. So I'm going to put this jacket on. And since I, since I can hit the target now, okay. we'll go try something a little bit different. I put on this hunting thing here like this, and then we got this for you. Okay. That way I don't hit you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wrong hole. There you go. That way I don't hit you, okay? Now, since I can hit that target, we'll try something a little bit better here. This is a little bit bigger of one, but this is really cool. Um, I've never tried this before um, like this, but I think it'll work. Okay? Yeah. There you go. You, have you done this before? No. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, the only other way to get her, balloon, uh, her, her ring out of the balloon is to pop it. Uh, I'm going to pop it, hopefully with this arrow, and it's going to hit the target. And yeah, Don't try this at home. Very dangerous. Um, and the ring is going to appear right on the, the tip of the arrow. Okay? All right. Are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm right-handed. Oh. Let's use your left. Yeah, I want you to use your left hand. Okay. Just in case. What do you do for a living? I'm retired. You're retired. Okay. Yeah. Then hold it just like this, as far as you can like this. Okay? And then... <laughs> How'd that happen? You let, you let it go before I know, but you blew it up. <laughs> <laughs> so you're retired, huh? <laughs> she, you could get you a little job there at the party store blowing up balloons. <laughs> well, um, plan B. <laughs> we can get Mr. Calpine. He can reach it. Oh, yeah, he probably can, can he? Yeah. Or we could go to plan C. Okay, um, this is really cool. I'm going to lift this bag. I've not touched anything. I'm going to lift this bag off of here. Okay, you kids will like this. Underneath the bag is a whole thing of rings. Pretty neat, huh? Mm -hmm. You have a quarter on you? Nope. Oh, I'm always prepared. There you go. Okay. Turn it. This would be great if it worked. There you go. Show everybody your ring. Is that it? Okay, that's not it. I can tell by the ruby. <laughs> wow, that is nice, though. Do you like it? It's okay. Okay. All right. I have another quarter. Okay. Here, you want this? Yes. Thank you.
see if this works this time. Is that it? <laughs> Everybody give her a big round of applause. Thank you very much. I'll take back the little jacket there. Thank you very much. Well, I really appreciate everybody having me. If you like the show, uh, my name is Jason the Great. If you did not like the show, my name is David Copperfield. Thank you all very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Entertainers in a Tri-State. In case you've just joined us, we have some wonderful talent. In fact, I was going to... Mason, thank you. We have... The four leads. We have Bob, Roger, Denny, and Dave. They started out each one playing the lead part in their musical course at their own hometown, got together, and now they're called the four leads. And uh, I think three of them changed their, their what uh, what they sing, one to bass, tenor, and alto, is it? Or did I get it right? Baritone? Well, you know, something Close. like that. Close. <laughs> Give it up for the four leads. They've won a number of awards. Thank you, guys. Let me call you sweetheart, I'm in love with you. Let me hear you whisper that you love me too. Keep the love light glowing in your eyes so. leads, as I said, we are a barbershop quartet, a unique American art form that uh, is still practiced all over the world. We have 40,000 strong members all over the International Barbershop Society, and it's called the International Harmony Society now. And uh, first thing I ought to do is introduce the quartet, I think. Uh, this is Roger over here, and this is him. I'm Bob. <laughs> Denny and uh, hi. Yeah. All right, now that's no. I'm just kidding. I'm really going to introduce a quartet. To your right and my left is Roger Hedesheimer. He sings tenor, and uh, yeah. he uh, used to be a community planner. In fact, he planned a lot of communities right here in Northern Kentucky. And to your left and my right is Dave Sargent. He's singing baritone today. Yes. Very difficult part. And he used to work for Proctor and God. And uh, to your front and my rear uh, is Denny Dom. He sings a lead, and uh, he used to be an engineer at GE. Let's give it up to Denny. Yeah. I'm Bob. I sing bass, and I used to be 185 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it really, it, it's a wonderful thing to be here in, uh, in, uh, in Cold Spring, Kentucky, you idiot. <laughs> what we first sang was... Uh, let Me Call You Sweetheart, an old barbershop song, and uh, we sing that as, as, as a chorus each February as a singing Valentine's. We sing quartets out all over the place, and we get to go to offices and schools and embarrass women right in front of everybody, and it's a lot of fun. So um, we're going to sing another Valentine's song, and it's called Sweet Valentine. Sweet Valentine, sweet Valentine, my Valentine, my Valentine. At night, dear heart, at night, dear heart, for you I pine. In all my dreams, in all my dreams, your fair face be, your fair face be. You're the flower of my heart, sweet valentine. You're the flower of my heart, sweet valentine, sweet
Thank you. One of the songs that we have to sing at any of our performances is one that everybody knows from a great American movie, but it's not a musical. Has anybody here ever seen It's a Wonderful Life? Yeah, about a hundred times each, everybody? Yeah, I think so. Well, there's one scene in there where uh, the star is going into the old mansion for the first time, and Donna Reed's got it all laid out for him, and they just got married, and they were uh, going to do this instead of going to Europe for their honeymoon. And there's a cop and a taxi cab driver who drive, who get them over, get him over to the house, and they sing this song outside the window because it's so romantic. And the cop's name and the taxi cab driver's name is Bert and Ernie. Jim Henson loved that movie so much, that's why he named his main characters Bert and Ernie. See, you learn something new every day. Yeah. But um, this is a song that they sang outside that window. I love you truly, truly dear, life with its sorrow, life with its tears, fades into dreams when something by your side to stand. Gone is the sorrow, gone doubt and fear, for you love me true. Keep her. <laughs> Another great musical movie that we take a song from is called The Music Man. And uh, they have a famous barbershop song in there. Uh, does anybody know what that song might be? It was sung by the Buffalo Bills in the movie The Music Man. Uh, it's called Light a Rose. And uh, we always have to sing this because it's probably our most requested song other than our last song. So... <laughs> Now here is my love song, not, not fancy or fine. Light a rose, oh, won't you be mine, be mine. Boom, boom, light a rose, I'm home again, rose, to get the sun back in my sky. Light a rose, I'm home again, rose, about a thousand kisses shy. Ding dong ding, I can hear the chapel bells chime. Ding dong ding, at the least suggestion, I'll pop the question. Light a rose, I'm home again, rose, without a sweetheart to my name. Light a rose now, everyone knows that I am hoping you're the same. So here is my love song, not fancy or fine. Light a rose, oh, won't you be mine, be
we have time to do this, I'd like to show you how barbershop music is put together. Uh, we're in a library, it's supposed to be educational, so would anybody like to see that, how, how these four melodies blend together? Okay, we got a couple nods out there. Uh, first, we're going to do the lead, which is sung by Denny, and that's the melody of the music, the, the one that you're used to hearing, and we're going to sing a couple of songs, or a couple of bars, from a good old barbershop music uh, called My Wild Irish Rose, and the lead goes like this. My wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower that grows. Okay, now that's an Irish ballad. That's how the but the melody goes. That's what you would hear in the pub that Denny frequents. And uh, <laughs> then the next line in the music is called the bass. That's what I sing. It's the most important part. <laughs> And it's the foundation. It goes like this. Nope. <laughs> My wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower that grows. Now that's a whole different melody, and we're going to put those two together and see how that sounds. My wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower that grows. Okay, so that's half of a barbershop. Well, with me and Denny, it's more like three quarters of a barbershop quartet. But anyway, um, the next line is the tenor line, and that is the melody of, or the song above the lead part, which is pretty unusual in music. Normally, the melody is a top line. We have Roger to sing tenor, and it goes like this. My wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower that grows. I was usually making me cry. It's so, sweet. <laughs> it's so lovely. <laughs> We, we have no idea how a grown man can hit all those high notes, but we do make him wear really tight pants. I think that helps, you know. So we're going to put those three parts together. I gave him a wedgie right before he came oh, out. That helps, too. Yeah, that. <laughs> My wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower that grows. Okay, three different melodies, same words, hopefully at the same time. And so there you have. Oh, wait a minute. We got one guy left over, don't we? Well, if you know music, then you figure we run all the notes out of those chords that we can. Not so. We have some leftover notes, or what we call garbage notes. <laughs> this is Mr. Rumkey here. <laughs> and he picks up all the garbage notes and puts them in there. He's the lead dodge. Wherever the lead is, he ain't. So it's kind of a strange part. So if you have to go to the bathroom, this would be a good time. No, just just kidding. Man. This is how the baritone goes. My wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower that grows. See, isn't that weird? But anyway, that's how the baritone goes, and that is the unique part of barbershop quartetting that makes barbershop the unique American art form that you're hearing. That really is what sets it apart. So we're going to put all four parts together and sing the song for you. My wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower that grows. One we'd like to leave you with, and it's called Heart of My Heart. Heart of my heart, I love you. Life would be not without you. Light of my life, my daughter.
forget you never from you I ne'er can sever say you'll be mine The program director, she's allowed us to come in and film this and bring the talent to you. Why don't you stand up and give so we can recognize. Janet, would you do me a favor and just stand up? Oh, well, we at least got a, a hand raised. Thank you so much, Janet, for allowing us to come. And, uh, and Mason, who is our next act going to be? Oh, you're in for a treat. He's left the farm. He's a zany character. Please put your hands together and welcome the zany and musical Mr. Cowpies. <laughs> hello, hello everybody, hello. Good to see everybody. You uh, guys ready to meet some animals in a little bit? Yeah. All right, all right. Well, let's get started. My name is Mr. Cowpie and you can clap for me again only if you want to, only if you insist. Thank you, thank you. Hey. Welcome to the crazy world of knock-knock jokes. You guys know how knock-knock jokes go? When I say knock-knock, you guys say... Let's try one, see what happens. Knock-knock! Gorilla! Gorilla who? Gorilla me a cheeseburger because I'm hungry! Get those hands clapping! Come on, clap, clap, clap! Is everybody clapping? There ain't no bugs on me, yeah, there ain't no bugs on me. There may be bugs on some of you mugs, there ain't no bugs on me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dwayne. Dwayne who? Dwayne, the bathtub, I'm Dwounding. Oh, they get worse. There ain't no bugs on me, yeah, there ain't no bugs on me. There may be bugs on some of you mugs, there ain't no bugs on me. Somebody let loose with the big old yee -haw. Yee haw! Somebody let loose with the big old yee doggies! Yee -haw. This is what we do here at Campbell County, I'll teach you. Put your hand on your hip like this, okay? Tilt your head to the side. Make a real goofy face with your lips. Go yee, -yee. Real, real goofy. Now keep that goofy look. Now say real loud. I'll tell you what. We are partying now. Clap those hands. Come on. There was a bullfrog sitting on a lily pad looking up at the sky. The lily pad broke. The frog fell in. He got water all in his eye. Ball, there ain't no bugs on me. Yeah, there ain't no bugs on me. There may be bugs on some of you mugs. There ain't no bugs on me. See how well you guys can rhyme. You know what a rhyme is? So if I would say blue, what rhymes with blue? True. You. Poo. Okay, okay. I think you have that. There ain't no squirrels on me. There ain't no squirrels on me. There may be squirrels on some of you. Girls. Girls is correct. There ain't no squirrels on me. This one's pretty easy. Ain't no flies on me. There ain't no flies on me. There may be flies on some of you guys. Guys is correct. There ain't no flies on me. There ain't no oranges on me. There ain't no oranges on me. There may be oranges on some of you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing rhymes with thorn. What was that, sir? <laughs> Let's try it. Let's see what happens. If you couldn't hear, the answer was door hinges. Let's see. There may be oranges on some of you. Door hinges. Does that work? Yeah. It works. There ain't no bugs on me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Queen. Queen, Queen up your womb. It's a mess. Oh, I know we're going to be on TV, but 
Raise your hand if you or somebody at your house has a messy room. <gasps> messy people do the wave. Be proud. Wave, wave. This guy doesn't have a messy room. A messy car. There ain't no bugs on me. Yeah, there ain't no bugs on me. There may be bugs on some of you mugs. Ain't no bugs on me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Panther. My pants are falling down. I want my mom. Knock, knock. Megan, Elise, and Chicken. Megan and Chicken. Megan, Elise, and Chicken it twice. Gonna find out. There ain't no bugs on me. Yeah, there ain't no bugs on me. There may be bugs on some of you mugs. Knock, knock. Who's there? Eyes. Eyes who? Eyes better learn some new jokes. There ain't no bugs on me. Thank you. You guys ready to meet some animals? Oh, one of my. Raise your hand if you like kitties. Got uh, kitties. Everybody go, here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty. Oh, I love this kitty. Before, uh, before you meet my kitty, has anybody here ever been grumpy or grouchy? Maybe just one time. One time yeah. Well, my kitty was grumpy to me the other day, and when I got him out, I'll show you what happened. <laughs> it finally grew back. Come here, kitty, kitty. Oh, I love this kitty. I love this kitty. Oh. His name is Stinky. No, wait. No, this isn't Stinky. No, th th this is Stinky. This is Stinky. Everybody say, hi, Stinky. Hi, Stinky. Stinky is one of our favorite pets on our farm, on Mr. Cowpie's party animals. Most of the animals we have are rescue animals, and Stinky was rescued from a fur farm. This is a true story. I'm not making this up. Kind of like 101 Dalmatians. And... Uh, Stinky Stripe isn't real straight, so he gets to live on our farm as long as he wants to. He gets up with Farmer Joan and I every morning, and we eat, we have uh, oatmeal and with nuts on it and all kinds. Isn't he cute? Look at his cute little face. And uh, when we're all done, you guys can come up and pet him. But you know what Stinky's favorite food is? It's pizza. Yeah, do you guys like pizza? We eat pizza every day at Mr. Kopai's house. Farmer Joan, who you're going to get to meet in a few minutes. <laughs> hi, Farmer Joan. Hi, Farmer Joan. First, before we eat pizza, we stick out our tongue and go, ah. You can do this with us. Ah. If you're watching on TV, you can do this at home, too. Stick out your tongue and go, ah. Ah. And put your tongue between your teeth like this. Bite down just a little and say, Greasy, cheesy pizza. Try it. Greasy. Try it again. Greasy. Well, that reminds me of a song. How convenient. Clap those hands. One, two, three, and. Don't give me no peaches. They're all full of stones. I love greasy, cheesy pizza because it's got no bones. You know, cabbages and onions, they hurt my singing tones. I love greasy, cheesy pizza because it's got no bones. Whatever time of year, be it Hanukkah or Easter, I want the world to know. I love greasy, cheesy pizza. You guys try it. Well, slimy sardine sandwiches, they make my stomach groan. I love greasy, cheesy pizza because it's got no bones. I love greasy, cheesy pizza. You guys sing it. Greasy, Try it again. Greasy, cheesy pizza because it's got no bones. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one, the only, Farmer Joan. Give Farmer Joan a round of applause. This is my microphone. <laughs> Who came to see animals today? Who came to see Mr. Cowpie today? 
Oh, good answer. Same number of kids. Well, I'm Farmer Joan, and this is just one of our animals we have on our farm. This is Bianca, and Bianca is a what? If you said chicken, you are correct. Bianca is about three years old. She's a girl chicken. What's a girl chicken called? Louder. What's a boy chicken called? I can tell you're from Campbell County. I go to Cincinnati and nobody knows the right answer to that. But this is Bianca, and Bianca has one trick. Get over here, Mr. Cowpie. Yes. Well, she has two tricks. We're hope that's why we have the tablecloth down. Usually, usually that gets a round of applause. Yeah. Okay, okay, Farmer John, that's good. Do we have do we have somebody wild from the audience who would like to balance a live chicken on their head? Do we have a volunteer? We have any volunteer? This is your this is your moment. This is your moment. TV. Do we have one? Do we have one? You right there in the pink, with the panda bear on. Yeah. Give her a round of applause. Would you like to stand right here? You're pretty brave. What's your name? What was it? Ava. This Ava, is turn Ava. around. You're pretty brave. Ava, turn around. Stand up straight. See if we can do this. You're going to be on TV. You'll be famous, okay? <laughs> okay, Ava, kind of look down a little bit. All right, put your chin down a little bit. Go! Give Ava a round of applause. She's pretty brave. You are a hero. Hey, Ava. Ava, you're on TV. Put one hand in the air like this. Turn around. Look at everybody. One hand on your belly. Take a bow. Give it beautiful. Watch Farmer Joan and do what she does. Green alligators and your long neck geese. Geese? Pretty good. Humpty back camels. And some chimpanzees, monkey noises, <laughs> some cats, and rats, and elephants. But sure is your born, the loveliest of them all was the unicorn. Let's try one more time. You got your green alligators, your long neck geese. Humpty back camels and some chimpanzees. Monkey noises! <laughs> some cats and rats and elephants. But sure is your born, like you're rocking the baby skunk. But the loveliest of them all was the unicorn. Watch Farmer John and do what she does. You know, a long time ago, the earth was green. There are more kind of animals that you've ever seen Run around free while the earth is being born The loveliest of them all was the unicorn You guys ready? Take your green alligators, long neck geese Humpty back camels Wait a minute, do you guys want to do it slow? No, no. you want to do it fast? And if you got the nerve <laughs> And you're not as scared. Does anybody want to try it? Hyper diaper super speed. You do? Anybody else? Anybody else? Hyper diaper super speed. Keep up if you can. Keep up if you dare. Clap those hands. Pop, pop, pop. You got your green alligators, long neck geese, humpy back camels, and chimpanzees. Catch that telephone, church you're born. Love of them all was the unicorn. Hey, one hand in the air, one hand on your belly, look at the camera, take a bow, take another bow, you guys are great. Hey, stay up here, raise your hand if anybody saw the movie Shrek. Anybody uh, remember an ancient group from the Stone Age called the Monkeys? You do? Hey, well this is from the movie Shrek, the Monkeys had this out, you can help me sing it if you want, and if you guys feel like getting crazy, jumping up and down, Jumping up and down and bouncing, you can. 
Get those hands clapping. One, two. I thought love was only true in fairy tales. We may have Dancing with the Stars judges watching us today. Well, meant for someone else, but not for me. Clap those hands. Woo. I said love is out to get me. That's the way it seemed. Disappointment, honey, all oh my. Here you guys sing it, grown up. Then I saw her. Not, not a. Beautiful. I'm in love. Ow! I'm a believer. I can. Okay, everybody, watch Farmer John. I strike a pose. Strike a uh, silly pose. Now stick out your tongue, bite down just a little, and say, greasy, cheesy pizza. Greasy. All right, put two hands out front like this. Watch Farmer Joan. Let's get some twisting going. Twisting, we're twisting, twisting. All right. Oh, it's a hot day. Let's go in the swimming pool. Let's go swimming. Swimming, we're swimming. This guy's pretty good. Oh, the backstroke, backstroke, backstroke. The doggy paddle, doggy paddle, doggy paddle, doggy paddle. Then I saw her. Wait, let's go underwater. Hold your nose. One hand in the air, everybody underwater. Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Good dancer, but not a trace. Out of my mind, I'm in love. Ow! I'm a believer. I could leave her if I tried. My name's Mr. Kapai. This is Farmer John. Thanks for having us this afternoon here at Campbell County Library. You guys have been a great crowd. Thank you much. <laughs> uh, thank you. What you guys think? Wasn't Mr. Cowpies great? Woo! Woo! You know, we saw some mystifying magic, some foot stomping music, and Mr. Cowpies. But I'm going to leave you with one final thought, and that is the real magic in life is love. And when you share that love with one another, then you have become the greatest magician, second to none. So wherever, so wherever life may lead you, whether it's down the street on US 27 or around the world, may peace, love, and a spirit of magic always be in your hearts. Thank you. God bless. See you next time. <laughs> Mason, what do you think of that show? I think it was great, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr.